With the ability to go direct to lender nowadays, why on earth would you use a mortgage broker in the first place? That's exactly what I'm gonna be breaking down in today's video. So first off, what is a mortgage broker? Well, a mortgage broker is an intermediary between you, the borrower and the bank or the lender. And the reason you might wanna use one is as follows. So a lot of mortgage brokers out there, a lot of lenders, there's a lot of decision fatigue that comes into play and all you wanna do is buy the bloody property, get the best finance and move on with the next, right? So here are some pros and cons. Pro number one, convenience. I really like the fact that I don't have to deal with all of the compliance. I don't need to go back and forward and back and forward with a lender, ask me for stuff, not ask for stuff, got no relationship whatsoever. The great thing about having a good mortgage broker in place is they know they've got a good relationship. They can get negotiated rates and often most of the lenders that have great rates and work with buy to let investors just like us, they actually don't go direct to consumer as you might expect from a residential mortgage. And so it's essentially using one person as a gateway and access to contacts that you otherwise would not have available. Within this as well, it really comes down to what you're valuing at the time. So yes, a mortgage broker might be 500 pounds upfront and they're gonna get what's known as a prop fee or a procuration fee, which is a fee from the lender. But at the end of the day, do I care about that 500 pounds or do I care about my time involvement in this? For myself, I value my time so much more than my money. It's the only asset that's constantly depreciating every second. A potential negative of using a mortgage broker is if you get a bad one. You have to do your due diligence. You have to go through the rough to get the smooth, the cold to get the diamonds, if you like. And I've certainly gone through some that they don't actually deliver what you need. And so what you wanna ask your broker is how whole of market that they are in the first place and making sure that they're doing a level of buy to lets on a monthly basis, not one, two, three, five a year. I mean five, 10, 15, 20 every single month. Make sure you're doing the, your due diligence because a bad mortgage broker really can slow you down. So they have to be whole of market and they have to be involved in buy to let purchases. The next positive is expertise. Now flipping what I just said on my head, once you've got a good mortgage broker, it's kind of like having an artist. So I don't know if you like R, but I've just commissioned somebody to uh, paint the Mount Everest as a mountain. Doesn't really matter uh, why, but I promise you it does have a reason. Now, for me to invest in R, I don't really get this art where it's a white canvas with a red dot in the middle. I want something that can't be created by myself. And so if I tried to paint Mount Everest and have it on my wall, it would look like a traffic cone in the middle of the M25. Now, if I get this painting in June, July, and I hang it on my wall, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed that that's what they produce because I can do that already. How does that relate back? Well, your mortgage broker, a good mortgage broker, is kind of like an artist. They're making things happen that you can't make happen yourself in an expedited process. They've got the contacts, they've got the education, and they will make it happen. One more downside is cost, okay? Like my painting and sourcing this, it actually does cost money to get an expert. So you do need to think of yourself, am I focusing on the price or am I focusing on the value? Well, what I like to say is price is what you pay, value is what you get. And you are buying an asset worth a hundred thousand pound plus in most situations that's going to grow with the rent, rent appreciation and capital appreciation between 15 and 20% every single year. So making sure that you've got an expert in place is worth the money in volumes. Now, I myself, I use a mortgage broker on every single purchase. And in fact, you may have heard me mention in this software before, Lendlord, who is today video sponsor actually has it on their portal now. This is a brand new update. We just started, we put our first one through and it has gone amazingly well. And it's got it as a fraction of the cost. And you can use this piece of software as your one-stop shop for pretty much everything. I'm going to jump in now and show you exactly how to use this tool. And by the way, if you want to go along this with me, I'll put a link to Lendlord down in the description. It is completely free. Make sure you get it. It's going to blow your mind. And by the way, you signing up 
isn't getting me paid anything. But the description is below. Make sure you click on that and let's jump into Lendlord so I can show you exactly what you need to do. So guys, I'm here on Lendlord and then down the left hand side, you've got everything. The one we're going to be going to is Mortgage Search down here. And I really like this actually because I've this is my dummy account. I've got some of my portfolio on here. So I'll show you the portfolio I've got. So I've got 1.2 million pounds worth of properties on, which is cool. Got a breakdown on it. I'll update this actually. So I might end up just putting my full portfolio on for you guys to see. Makes it easy. Um, but down here on mortgage search. So first of all, you need to make sure you fill in your income and outgoings and your tax band. The more accurate you are with the information you put on this, the more accurate it's going to be on there to get your best results. So let's say I'm going to go for a mortgage here. I'll click company. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one that I'm going to remortgage. So I'm going to go, in fact, you've, you've got all of these. Let me just show you these tags. These are deliberate tags that you fill out. It's very, very easy and intuitive. So let's say I'm going to go with a remortgage. Um, with capital raising. What that means is I'm looking to remortgage a property and hopefully get some money out. I'm going to go with, I don't know, let's go with Vernon Place. All right. Already there, by the way, if I change this, you'll see that they're automatically changing all of these uh, figures here based on their predictions. But let's go on Vernon Place. I'll save that. Estimated property worth is probably about right, actually, 165, maybe 170,000 that I'd like going to. Rent now is about 900 on that. It's gone up. So required loan. I'm going to go with 25% uh, loan to value, which on 170,000 is going to be 42,000. No, it's not. Sorry. Uh, other way, Jamie. So 127,500. Which is 75%. No, it's not HMO. Required years, I'll go with 25 years, pretty standard. Required months, zero. Required product type, I'm going to go with fixed, I would say, over three years, maybe five years actually now. Let's see what it comes up with. Interest only, it's almost always going to be on interest only, but if you want to look at repayment, that's cool. Current mortgage balance, let's just say I've got 80,000 on there. And that's it. You can add an extra loan if you want, but that's it in general. So then what happens is you just click the search feature. And what it does is it will go through its database, extrapolate it, and then it will show the best properties on its books that it thinks it will be able to deliver the most value to. So you can see this. Leeds Building Society, NatWest, and um, the Mortgage Works, Metro Bank. And it's connected to all of these, not Nottingham. And you can see that you've got different ways of looking at it because you've got the fees and you've got the monthly payments. The one that I like looking at is the total cost because sometimes the monthly payment doesn't always correlate to it being the best cost. So, for example, you've got this one at 2.59% here. But if you are keeping it for the five months, yes, it costs a little bit more in the monthly payments, but it's less upfront, so it's going to be less cash in, which is really good. And over the entire period, it's 10,594. And so let's see if there's another one that does better. Well, there's so many on here. Mortgage Works, Furness, uh, BS. And you get the point. It's covering loads of spectrums. That sounds like the best one, I would say, so far, 10,594. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed with that. And also because you're using Lendlord as a platform, it's going to end up giving you um, that 40, 40 pound cash back as well. So then what I'm gonna do is just proceed with that. And then what happens is as you're going through, you'll go through the inquiry part of this, but I won't go any further than that, it's fairly self-explanatory. So let's jump back into the camera. So just to conclude, don't rush your decision. Make sure you're doing your due diligence on your mortgage brokers. You either need to call five to 10 of them, vet them, do your background research and get on it, 
Alternatively, utilize Lendlord. They've already done that for you and they've negotiated amazing rates, direct access for you so you know exactly where the money's coming from. The reliability on there, along with their bridging tool, covers everything you need. I hope this has been valuable. Let me know if you want anything else covered on mortgages or mortgage brokers by leaving a comment below. If you're new to property or new to the channel and you want to find out more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Hit the like on your way out and I'll see you on the next video. Remember, the link to Landlord is in the description below.